Shit my friend yeah and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get back into building in Planet Zoo. And I thought it'd be fun to play around with the brand new restaurants. And I was having a look at the blueprints for the restaurants and they're tagged as Europe Pack and there's not a blueprint for a base game restaurant. So I thought I would actually try and make this restaurant build base game only because the restaurants are base game but none of the blueprints are. I'm planning on doing the Alpine Ibex underneath this restaurant so that's why I've got this up quite high on the map. This is probably the highest we've built in this map and the staircase is pretty long i wish there was another way of doing some sort of transport maybe i'll get like a zoo entrance up here or something because it is quite far away from the entrances and the stairs are pretty long to get up to here but i think that's what makes this a bit more interesting as well because this is going to be a mountain top restaurant and i also wanted to try out doing a different kind of style of a building too. So for this restaurant I'm pretty sure the title's going to be like modern mountaintop restaurant or something like that. I was having a look at some reference pictures of some ski lodges. I was thinking maybe this could be a ski lodge restaurant in somewhere like Italy for the European tie to the zoo because now we've got the Europe pack as well, but I figured just having this modern style lodge building would fit in North America as well. So it's gonna be kind of easy to pop in anyway, but this was basically just to be able to use those triangular windows to have like a massive window in the center of the build. And I'm going kind of A-frame as well, with a slight asymmetrical roof. So one side is going to be slightly longer than the other to have like a cover for the entrance path to the restaurant. It's really interesting playing around with this new building because it's a completely different shape to the regular shops that we've had before. It's kind of like an L shape but I've disguised that and tried to make it more of an A-frame building. And I just wanted to know how the roof would look in the end for a little bit of perspective because it's hard to see what the building's gonna look like without the roof on it. And then to get it out of the way so I can continue building inside the building, I just raised the roof and made it float above the building so you can still see on the inside. But these windows are gonna be a main feature of the building itself. Oh, and we have panels! This came in uh, update 1.8 as well. I'm pretty sure we did not have this wood wall, wood texture in paneling because I used the aquatic pack wood for my Life is Strange Black Lantern building and I seen in the update notes, update changes on Steam that a lot of the wall textures have been updated and panels have been added in too and I'm so excited for that because I love panels because they can be placed off the grid and rotated 360 and walls can't be so panels are a really exciting thing to have added into the game because I've been asking for more panels for pretty much the entire time I've been building in this game. To go with like modern, uh, the first thing I sort of think of is just lots of glass, very simple color scheme with the majority of like the wood, but I wanted a lot of glass and a lot of windows to let in light and to allow the guests to see the staff making their food in the new kitchen area and the new kitchen area is really interesting. It's got lots of different small props in there that makes it feel like a proper kitchen. I love that they always put those little details in in these buildings. I wish we had some of the props as well because there's like a fire extinguisher, 
and like kitchen roll, little kitchen utensils. I want these tiny things as props. Speaking of props though, while I do these window frames, when I was looking through all of the new update items, I see that they, we have like eggs and the eggs didn't seem like they went with any of the other objects from the update or with the Europe pack. So there's been a lot of speculation with these egg props that maybe we'll be getting some bird animals, bird-like animals. Maybe, uh, I never know how to say this, aviary or is it aviary? I never know how to say that one, but we're getting some feathered animals in Planet Zoo soon, which is, I don't know, it might be a little bit too early to start speculating about new DLCs. We haven't had this one out very long, but yeah, like the eggs were a slightly odd, I will admit. I was a little curious as to uh, why they were included in this update. So is this uh, technically a mezzanine area? I never really know like the proper terms. I just wanted a second story balcony area where the guests can sit and eat at the restaurant. And I wanted the view of the mountains and for the windows to look like it can go all the way through the building. So I've used the glass panels for fencing for that top part, just so we can see more of the view. I'm pretty happy with these windows because it does let in a lot of sunlight and it's really really pretty the morning light on this building is just the best you'll see that right at the end when i do the pretties and i wanted to create some doors so we didn't just have a hole in the front of the building for some reason this small door didn't fit into the door frame wall i don't know it didn't fit properly and i was a little confused because it's just like why wouldn't it fit that's like the door one but that's fine. I just used a couple of different windows to create like a larger, more grand doorway. And that's from the New World style, I think, because the New World style is like the most modern, I think, out of all of the different styles that Planet Zoo have now. And I found the building after putting the tables down and the top layer, it was a little bit too short. So I thought I would raise the building up maybe one tile i think that's technically like a one meter tile for that balcony mezzanine area it was looking a little squat <laughs> i don't know how to <laughs> uh, describe it other than that but it was just looking a bit too short compared to how tall the mountain was and i think it works really really well you can see the mountain behind it and of course this doesn't necessarily have to be where i've put it you could place it so you could see all the way through the whole of the windows and that would be really nice so you could like see through it down into another habitat and i wanted something to look a bit more interesting for the guests sitting in that balcony area as well so they could look down into the kitchen and have a more interesting space above the kitchen itself. I seen Pretty Parcel Please. I've been watching her thrift mess, kind of like vlog mess, and she's gone to so many really pretty restaurants. And one of the restaurants had these hanging baskets over like a pergola. I never know how to actually say this. Like, there it is. It's just wooden slats going across. But there was all these hanging baskets. It was like an outdoor space. Whereas this isn't, but it's quite open. So I thought it would work. And the hanging baskets over like the tables was just so pretty. I didn't want to do that here, but I wanted to put it over the kitchen instead. Because this is such an open space. And I wasn't happy with the <laughs> hanging baskets that just come with the game. They were a bit too big. So I just played around with some of the smaller props that we have, like this little basket, and then I was looking for plants that would fit inside the little basket to create little hanging baskets. This was actually quite fun because usually you don't really look for like the smallest plants you can. <laughs> and for the rope, to get a smaller base game rope, I've used these African bunting beads and hidden the bead inside the plant pot underneath the flower and I'm just using the rope that's like coming from the bead to create a hanging basket style 
loop and the shadows created from the windows and the beams going across over the kitchen works really really nicely i love the shadows over on the walls but it's coming up to New Year now. It's almost my Nan's birthday as well. It's been mine now. <laughs> I've been talking about it all month. Um, it's my Nan's turn. <laughs> but have you made any New Year's resolutions? Are you going to make any New Year's resolutions? I'm not really one for it. <laughs> Especially because most of the time I would just not <laughs> actually complete my resolution. I'd put too much pressure on myself, I think. Um, and I think a lot of people do that. It's just, yeah, a faff. I'm not really one for resolutions. I'd rather just decide to do something on my own time instead of being like, okay, it's January 1st, time to change my life. <laughs> and everything about it, like, nah. But I think one thing I would like to do in the new year, maybe not technically in the new year, but like next year at some point maybe is go to a real zoo because I haven't been to a real zoo in so long and I'd love to actually see what real zoos actually are like set out like because I just do whatever I feel like doing <laughs> and it'd be really fun to see maybe how a real zoo was set out what their habitats actually look like which I think is just gonna be really funny because I'm gonna be like where's the ice cream shop and oh i don't know uh what else have i done an abandoned water park that's one of my mom's favorites that is a building from a game the black lantern uh what else have i done even recently a gingerbread house christmas town yeah i really like to go to a real zoo maybe not even when they would be super far away like bristol zoo maybe that one's not actually that far away from wales if you not aware of like the geography of the United Kingdom. <laughs> Wales tends to just get chunked in with England which I wouldn't recommend doing to someone you've met who says they're from Wales because we don't particularly like it that much. We are a completely different country. I didn't think three tables upstairs would be enough for an entire restaurant. Um, I can't remember how many chairs are per table but three tables does not make a restaurant so i thought maybe i would do some sort of gravity defying balcony seating area as well for the guests to sit and look over the mountain while they have their food just try to make it look modern and it's not my favorite style of building so it was a little tricky for me and i thought i would go with the same fence style that I did for the balcony area and use those plain glass panels keep the view as open as possible because that's like the the main feature of this restaurant that it is a mountaintop restaurant and the guests can sit look over the habitats but also look over the mountains because they are like really high up here <laughs> these tables are really nice like these are the more modern style tables I didn't really like the booths for this build at all, but oh, can you imagine like a, a 50s diner with the new neon lights? Oh, I want to make all of the restaurants now. Oh, the new neon lights, a 50s diner would be so cool. Proper pinup girls, the red and black. I love that style. Now I want to build one of those. <laughs> I wonder if someone already has. Oh, I'll have to have a look on Steam Workshop. But uh, yeah, the booths didn't really go with this modern style. And I was trying to think of different decorations that we could do for the inside of this restaurant. And I still wanted it to be quite sleek and modern, but usually restaurants have menus. <laughs> and I've done this before with the food trucks, which is really funny because now we have like a food truck object. I like to list what's actually available in the restaurant on the menu boards and so I've kind of like layered a couple of the editable signs on top of each other to create like a larger board because it won't list like this with the editable ones and the path was slightly off. I wanted the wood underneath the roof to make it feel like it was connected to the building instead of having that white hexagon patterned path that I've got for the rest of the winter side but I thought I would just close off that 
area a little bit more with some plants and I used the New World planters to match in with their colour scheme because they were a grey colour and that matched in nicely with the doors and windows. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's my first restaurant build, so it was a little bit tricky to get in with trying to figure out how everything works. The shops that we, we've had for the entirety of the game, they're kind of simple to figure out how they work. As long as it's connected to the front, guests can queue up. But like, I'm not sure how this works completely yet but now on to the pretties and this was quite fun it kind of took me back to my sims 4 building days doing a walkthrough of the building and looking around the outside it's a pity we don't have the kind of camera controls that the sims have that was always fun going into like cinematic mode and just pressing number buttons to kind of smoothly transition unless there is like a cinematic mode in this i don't know <laughs> i just tap G on the keyboard and I also change my camera mode using T to smoothly like rotate the camera but the different viewpoints around the building is really nice like I'm glad I've added in lots of windows this feels modern just because of the windows but the balcony hanging over the mountain has just got an extra special viewing area because it kind of feels like it's floating so you're kind of floating above all the mountains and you've got such a beautiful viewing area all the way across. It's like you see everywhere over this whole map. So you can see all of winter, Gaiav, and you can see down into Hadrev, my autumnal side of the zoo. I think this is just a really lovely restaurant and i'm gonna leave it off there if you enjoyed this build smash that like button and if you haven't already and you would like to it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video i usually upload on wednesdays and saturdays but there won't be a video on saturday because it's new year's day but other than that usually wednesdays and saturdays thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and a very happy new year and i will see you next time Goodbye.